Hi everybody, Jumping Water Track. So today, we're using a 60 footer, four ton machine. So this machine is the SD210. It is for four point, quite sure it's 4.1 ton. Double check the specs. Total weight, four ton plus the occupant in the weight in the basket so 4.2 ton at max weight um it is a 60 foot boom it has outriggers on it it's an all-wheel drive machine so it can travel across um yards and bitumens and all that type of stuff we, we've had this thing in gardens on slopes um because the outriggers make it easy to level off sometimes you've got to dig down into the, the ground to level it off but um yeah, once the outriggers go down, they're pretty much, it's really strong. So let's just have a quick run. So the machine fits nicely underneath. Probably about there's a inch or a half inch gap to get through. It just gets through. So what we've got to do is gotta take it down down the slope and then back up into there, coming back in around here back across the front of this building to go around behind it so a bit of juggling but um we'll set up a time lapse video so you can see You can see the boom crawled up this hill without too much of a problem is this nice cruise straight up in low gear so as you can see this is a fairly deep gully here and then turn up the side it's fairly steep probably not so much on the footage but coming up in the boom it's a you wouldn't get your average rear up here. It's all the way down there. So now the next problem is this big fella. It's gonna go for it here. And around that chair. And underneath that. So I'll put you on time lapse and um watch you go through that.
we're just coming out we've just done all the washing in there we're just coming out we're going down the hill so that's level all the sensors are going off because it's past the max but we're going straight down the hill so it's not too bad Wait for it to get down the bottom a little bit more and then we'll spin him. Starting to get a little bit more level. The sensors are gone off, so it's in the tappy spot. Drive back up through there and then back around. So we got the boom in a spot that no one else thought it could come in. So what we're gonna do is gonna gonna finish off that awning, that awning, and that one there. There's some wasps up on that one there. So we got this way in here. I I can't. There's enough room to get in there, but because of the the basket on the back, I can't swivel it in past there. So we have to go up through another walkway. And they say. They're versatile. You got the one to put it there, so put the chocks up on there. As long as they're clear on the arms down the bottom and the tires are off the ground, everything's level. It's a little bit off level. I'll fix that up before I go up. But um, as you can see, the tire marks, we come through here, we drove down there to turn it around, and then we come up. You can see all the sky tracks just there where I've been. We drove it up through here. Have a look, there's evidence. And then up through that walkway there, which is pretty easy, it's nice and wide. Um, then at the end of that walkway, you have to do a 90 degree turn and you got another walkway the same, and then you're out onto the top. So the SD210 is very versatile. It gets in to places you wouldn't think possible. Um, all wheel drive just controls it like crazy. The full drive capability of it is just insane. It, it climbs hills and stuff. As long as you don't go on the side too much, you go on the side, then you're probably gonna roll it. But up, straight up and straight down hills, it's fine. It's, it's good like that. Like, she's tucked in there. I thought I would have to get like a, a mobile scarf or um, a 40 foot ladder and put her on the gutter and try and spray into the things. But I thought, no, nah, I'll get that fella in there pretty easy. Cause you just gotta remember the capability of your boom, but that one, a little bit dirty. I've been washing bird poo all day. Um, yeah, so it's got a little bit more to finish and then we're done. So I have to pack up the water blaster, set it up down here, finish off this section, and then done. Go home. Thanks for that. Hey guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it's free. Helps me out a lot. I like putting out content for you guys on equipment and gear that you might come across or you might need. You have that one spot that you can't get into. Um, it's always good. I'll, let, I'll share my all my knowledge as much as possible to you guys. Thank you.